Am I the asshole for hiding embarrassing notes in my house as a joke because I know my fiance's mom snoops? I bought a house seven years ago and I met my fiance, Al, four years ago. This year he moved in. We're talking about making it a home for both of us, but as of now, he hasn't moved much stuff in. Right now, 95% of the stuff and furniture in the house is mine. When his mom comes over, she's kind of a snoop. He was used to that, but when she comes over to our house, it's so uncomfortable because she's just going through my shit. When I am bothered, she's like, oh, I was just helping with chores, etc. He said I should just let her because she has, quote, a lot of nervous energy. One thing she snooped on was actually embarrassing. In my home office, I had a little affirmation post-it note on my monitor saying, quote, I am smart, I am skilled, I am deserving of great things. It was a silly thing my therapist recommended to get me in a confident mindset before an interview. Anyways, she made a comment too about my ego. But as a joke, I decided to do it again. I had my best friend over and we got wine drunk and wrote a bunch of affirmations to hide. Some were in the medicine cabinet. My teeth will regrow. I am shark-like and powerful. Kitchen drawers. I know when to spoon, but I also know when to fork. I am sexy and (laughs) self-assured. Work desk. I will not just fuck my way to the top of the company. I will fuck my way to the top of the world. (laughs) Walk-in closet. I am beautiful with clothes and without, especially without. My boobs are legendary. Sam. There was a bunch more, and my friend and I had a hilarious time writing them. Next time my mother-in-law came over, she saw a few. And she didn't acknowledge them to me, even though she definitely started acting a little weird around me. I went to run some errands, and when I was out, she confronted Al about the notes and was trying to tell him that I seemed unstable, egotistical, and moving in was a bad idea. She showed him the notes, and he didn't really know what to make of it. He asked me, and I said they were just some silly private notes to boost my self-confidence and make myself laugh. How had she gotten them? Had she been going through my things? He said she was just tidying and saw them. And they were real weird. I was like, have you met me? You should know how weird I am. Anyways, if you don't want your mom seeing my weird shit, you've got to stop letting her go through my shit. He asked if I left them on purpose to annoy her. And I admitted that was kind of the joke. But I also have other weird and private shit So what I said about her needing to stop snooping if she didn't want to find weird crap was still for real. He said I was making stuff hard for him. His mom was really protective and adjusting to him moving in with a girlfriend for the first time, and I was agitating her on purpose and making her think I wouldn't be a good partner when he wanted her to have the opposite impression of me. Am I the asshole for the note prank? Hell no. Well, it's like who wrote the note, like on Jersey Shore, not to bring it back to that. (laughs) But I think whenever you're writing anonymous notes, shit hits the fan, as we've seen in reality TV and in her closet. Sam, when you left bed the first night, Ronnie had his face in between a cocktail waitress's breasts. Um, But I think that – I think the problem, like in a lot of these problems, isn't necessarily like – the mom snooping but i think maybe there's tension or resentment there between the girlfriend and the um and the boyfriend about like the mom being there and her being in their space and them not really being able to properly communicate about it um i don't know about this one like I I think it's weird that the mom is snooping. I think it's funny that the girl is doing it, but, like, I don't really know where I would go from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, how do you damage control this? I would say I would write an apology note um, and maybe ask her to go to lunch in the apology note, and if she finds it, you can kind of both be like, look, I was wrong for writing this. Look, I was wrong for snooping. Let's, like, get on a better, like – Let's have a better relationship. Mm -hmm. We're both going to be here and like let's not write little notes and then maybe make an – have an Etsy person make one of those like um, cheesy TJ Maxx signs that's like I am woman, I am beautiful and have uh, the girlfriend give it to the mom and be like this is for um, (laughs) snooping. I I like this uh, compromise on the the Well, I like that as a solution but I fucking love this move. I think it's hilarious. I love doing it. I love if something's bothering you and I feel like to go to this – 
this level, I think it has been brought up to the boyfriend probably, and he just shoves it off because he doesn't want to deal with his mom. Mm -hmm. And so I love the fact that she did it because it's directly exposing the problem and saying, look, here's what's happening. Where do you think the fucking notes came from? And the boyfriend comes to the conclusion on his own. I like that it levels the playing field in a sense and then the damage control. Yeah. But I, I, there's something about it that I just love the pettiness of it. I I love it. I, I think love this, being petty. Is this malicious <laughs> compliance? This might be a little malicious compliance happening here, which is like my new favorite word lately. I, I just have no idea what that means. So essentially it's like your boss being like, you can't leave if you aren't done with all your work. Or I don't know. I'm butchering this. Oh my God. What was the example? Oh, okay. So I had a story recently where it was like this girl writing in like, am I the asshole for messing up Thanksgiving? And so her partner's mom hated her. And called her by the wrong name all the time. So her name was Jenny. The mom was calling her Janet. And so she goes, oh, yeah, Janet should make the turkey for Thanksgiving. And she goes, oh, yeah, Janet should. That's a great idea. Thanksgiving comes. She shows up without a turkey. And they go, what the fuck? You were supposed to make the turkey. And she's like, I thought Janet was because her name was Jenny. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Malicious compliance. I like that. Yeah, so that's what this feels like. The boyfriend was like, oh, just ignore it. Or fiance. Mm -hmm. Like, just ignore it. It's fine. She's just nervous. And then she's like, well, I'm just going to fuck shit up and keep writing my notes. Yeah. No, I agree. I think it was petty, but like funny and not, it didn't hurt anybody in the end. You know what I mean? And now's the time to resolve, like you said. Yeah, exactly. If you continue down that path, you're going to drive the wedge. Yeah. But yeah. Yep. Yeah, I get some, re- like, mama's boy red flags with this one, though. This is what I'm saying. I think there's a little bit of a deeper issue than just, like, the notes. Oh, right. yeah. Mama's yeah. boy that cannot draw boundaries because if, like, your mom was going through my underwear drawer, like, we would shut that shit down. And the fact that he can't, like, she's putting these notes in pretty, like, yeah hidden places by the sounds of it. Like, her bras, she found the one in her bra drawer. Like, your mom yeah. shouldn't be going through there. No. Right. And then for him to be like, oh, she's just really protective and adjusting to him moving in with a girlfriend for the first time. They're engaged. This is your <laughs> fiance. Maybe um, the last guy, Terry's ex fiance, um, is his other ex too. Oh, gosh. You know what I mean? It could all come full circle. <laughs> you never know with these stories. Yeah. You never know. That would be crazy. <laughs> Connecting leaving, two random she, yeah. ass stories. She's, like she's leaving Terry notes, being like, <laughs> "I am sober. I am skinny." <laughs> Poor Terry. I know. I love him so much. <laughs> Tom- Terry's my type. <laughs> <laughs> Terry. Out of all these people, I think Terry's my type. Uh, Terry sounds like a good time, honestly. Yeah. So, top comment on this one: Not the asshole. She's snooping through your home. I'd have gone further and left little notes like, quote, nobody likes a snoop and, quote, you aren't welcome to go through my things. Mm. But yours were pretty damn funny. It's a red flag if your fiance stands up for her invading your privacy like yeah. this. I agree. Yeah. OP responds back. Haha, I was thinking a set of butt plugs increasing in size to the absurd would be pretty funny, but pointed notes could be funny too. Yeah, I feel so frustrated because he was okay with her doing it in his apartment because she actually would help with laundry and dishes and he appreciated that. But in my house, it's different because it's not his stuff there. It's not even our stuff. It's 95% mine Mm. because I've lived there for seven years. Yeah. So when she's going through the house, it's not his stuff or even shared. She's going through mine. I think on the not funny side of things, I might just sit her down and say, I've lived alone for six years. I live in a way that makes my home feel like a home. And part of that is not keeping anything but the living room and guest bathroom presentable for guests. So I'm uncomfortable with her as my guest going into other rooms without asking or looking at my stuff. Beyond fair. Yeah. To like sit her down and say that. Mm -hmm. 100%. Beyond fair. Yeah. Everyone's on her side. Overall vote was not the asshole. And it has easily two, I'm bad at math, but I see 72, 72, 42, and a bunch of others. It's like the most I've ever seen. That's, yeah. It's like they give um, awards for the post for like if they're good. Oh, wow. Yeah. That looks like Neopets. It's kind of like what TikTok's (laughs) doing, I guess, a little bit now. Yeah. TikTok's doing it, right? Oh, if you do lives, you can get like flowers and like roses and stuff. Yeah. Certain platforms are starting to do it, but I think it was OG on Reddit. Yeah, I I like that. So 
Not the asshole. 